Welcome. Now that you've found a comfortable place to sit, let's read along with Macy and Penny. Mickey's birthday party. The sweet sound of bird song just after daybreak floated into Penny's room and caused her to wait. She got out of bed and brushed out her tail before washing her face and checking the mail. She noticed that her calendar was slightly behind. The next page bore a scribble next to a mind. Oh, Mickey's birthday is coming up soon. I need to call a certain deer and raccoon. Cash showed up first and Peso came after. Let's throw Mickey a party with laughter and fun for her birthday then, Penny said with a wink. We need cake, decorations, and games, I would think. Balloons yelled Cash at Cash as he jumped up with glee. I've got this covered. Leave it to me. Peso chimed in. Games are my scene. I know exactly what I want to win. That just leaves me the cake, and we're set. This will be Nikki's best birthday yet. What are we waiting for, Penny asked. Let's get busy on all of these tasks. Penny soon found the white cake for Nikki with a pink purple glaze that looked quite sticky. The bottom had stripes, the middle had dots, while the top had long slender candles in spots. Penny giggled and imagined cutting a slice. And then she saw the tag with the price. $45, she said with a squeak, but my allowance is five bucks a week. Elsewhere, Peso wasn't doing much better. He had planned out several games to the letter, but, he, but the equipment he wanted cost far too much. He couldn't get hula hoops, balls, cones, and such. Well, this is just great, he said in a huff. Planning a party sure can be tough. Cash had a vision of streamers and glare stuck in his head. When he walked to the store, his veins were dashed as he counted his bills. He couldn't afford his long list of frills. I may have to scale back just a bit, Cash said while trying not to throw a fit. I'll head back and check with the crew. Maybe one of them will know what to do. But all three friends were in the same fix. Not enough money to pull off their tricks. Maybe you don't need to buy a cake. You could hit the kitchen and try to make the one you saw earlier, Cash recommended. You just need to get the ingredients blended. Good point, said Penny. We don't have to buy every last thing we need. Not all the supplies. I, I bet you could make some neat decorations. In fact, I can't wait to see your creations. But I can't make a football, Pes said Peso. So it's off to the store we must go. We also need flour, sugar, and butter. We still have to shop for some things, he muttered. I see what you mean, Penny said wide-eyed. She thought for a moment before she replied, let's come up with a budget and write down a plan. We can save over time and hand make what we can. They script and save in the following day to give their friend Nikki the best birthday display. Cash helped a neighbor, Peso did chores. Penny started a lemonade stand outdoors. The day of the party, they leapt into action to finish their tasks without any distraction. Cash made out a list and counted his money. He had enough plus an extra three twenty, so he splurged on some glitter and in silver and gold to make his big banner that that much more bold. When Cash got home, he whipped up a world. A party hat, streamers, and tails to be pinned. He blew up balloons and chopped up confetti until he was nearly exhausted and sweaty. Penny's mom asked just what was the matter. When Penny dropped a few pans, it caused a big clatter. She got covered in flour and splattered with batter, but the cake was all done and placed on the platter. 
the dots form more spots. The stripes not quite straight, and some of the flossing had dripped on the plate. It rose three layers high, who it had a slight tilt. Penny was proud of the dessert she had built. Peso just knew he could do more with less. Plus, all the goo would have been such a mess. So he narrowed his list of equipment to one type of intent used for ways for fun. Jump ropes were a key to many activities. Peso had planned for the birthday festivities. After he purchased all of his tools for each of his games, he wrote down the rules. The cake was put in place. The streamers all hung. All that was left, the surpri surprise to be sprung. Everyone hid until Nikki walked in. They leapt out while yelling, each wearing a grin. Gregoracious, Nikki screamed. All this for me? She took it all in through the falling confetti. She covered her face with her paws, her cheeks wet. Oh, it's too much. You shouldn't have, she said. You deserve it, Penny cried. Of course, added Cash. You do so much for us, so we threw you this bath. We hope you enjoy yourself more than a bit. Make a wish, Peso said, as the candles were lit. Gee, you're sure hurting me right on the spot. Huh, what to wish for? I've already got such a wonderful party. And furthermore, the best friend ever that any bunny could hope for. Nikki took a deep breath and blew out the flames. Everyone clapped and then they played games and savored over cake until the party did end. And Penny said, happy birthday, my friend. The end. Whenever you want to read along again, Macy and Penny will be here. If you want more information about the Penny's Adventures Youth Program or fun activities, visit meridiancu.org backslash youth.